You've been on TV for a long time, you've been in mainstream media, um, and you left ABC because, part, partly God. because uh, they weren't interested in your debunking, you know, I would say myths about, economic myths and myths about Obamacare in particular. Uh, do, do you think that the media is actively biased or, you know, in my experience, not, not as, you know, as, as wealthy as yours in the sense of, you know, how much you've done, but I've noticed that it's not sort of an active uh, bias, it's more an inherent belief in things or, or an innate view, you know, you have this innate, innate idea about the world, a view of the world, and when you report, it simply comes out that way. It's not as if you want to be biased, it's just that you don't even understand what the other side or where they're coming from. Do you think that that's fair? Yes, and it's like they're at ABC where I work, at CBS before that. They were steeped like a tea bag in the New York Times and the Manhattan liberal culture. And of course regulation is necessary and more is better. Of course guns are evil. Of course business is greedy, it has to be controlled. Of course government helps the poor. And we don't have an opinion. There's that Stossel guy and he has a bias. And so we're gonna label his pieces uh, what do they call it? Um, well, they called my blog John's Take. So it wasn't just news, it was John's Take. Or in my first special, they made me put up the super perspective. Well, when Peter Jennings was talking, it was his perspective too. But you're right, he didn't think it was. The only person who had an opinion in the building they felt was me. Hmm. And the nice thing about Fox is when I fight with, say, Bill O'Reilly about drug legalization, he understands that his is an opinion too. It's not just like I'm the wacky libertarian. Now, do you feel that conservatives are more open-minded about those sorts of debates, debates about drug legalization, gay marriage, other libertarian issues? Yes. In general. Yeah. And, you know, maybe they had to be because they, in the media they were surrounded always. There was only liberalism and a few <laughs> tiny outposts, human events of of an alternative. Well, do you think that's because conservatives essentially are skeptical of government power, right? Generally, I'm not saying that all Republicans are, I think often they're not, but um, that they that, that it somehow doesn't align all the way through. Do you know what I mean? That, that well, I want freedom no. here, but then all of a sudden I can't have freedom here. I mean, do, do you think that they sort of wrestle with those things at all, or, or that there's a libertarian hope for the Republican Party? In the sense, more libertarian than they used to be. Well, I. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I used to think the libertarian hope was in the Democratic Party because hmm. I thought social conservatives that, that things like legalizing dangerous activities like sex work or drug use or you know, activities that counter people's religious values like gay marriage would just, you know, conservatives couldn't go with that. But liberals ought to be able to learn the economics. But liberals have been most belligerent to me. Al Franken, <laughs> probably the worst when he was on Air America. They're just angry and hostile. And, not, and conservatives have me to conferences and they don't want me to bring up defense or these issues. But when I do, they're nice. Well, it's actually, this is the first time, I, you talk about defense in this book, which is not something you usually touch on. So no. it's, it's, it's It'll be interesting to see how people react to that. Typically, they just don't want you to bring it up, but do they confront you? Do they? Well, we'll see. I, on the Amazon review, Ira Stoll says, what a great book except the defense <laughs> chapter, and what an imbecile Stossel is on that. <laughs> Uh, I actually think this is a very conservative book in a way. You know, I'm talking about traditional conservatism in the sense that you should be skeptical of things, you know, uh, not accept power, you know, that big jag plans from the top down are not, you know, are typically destructive for morality and, and, and for culture and for everything. Well, I've learned to be a skeptic because everything I thought was true was wrong. 